The Los Angeles band Operator is currently out on tour in support of their debut album, Soul Crusher, which was released earlier this month on July 3rd. The band harkens back to the good old days of grunge in bands like Alice in Chains and Soundgarden. Vocalist Johnny Strong formed the band with former Puddle of Mud guitarist Paul James Phillips. Operator recently hit the road with Hinder, Papa Roach, and Puddle of Mud, and Strong, who also has a background as an ultimate fighting style martial artist, said that they didn't exactly get along with everyone on the bill. It was cool. It was the... Sorry. <laughs> I went down the wrong pipe. Went down the wrong pipe. <laughs> that question. Uh, yeah. You know what, man? We were, uh, you know, we were very grateful. You know that uh, you know band that you know doesn't have a record out, single out at that point. You know what I mean? And a band that's you know selling a whole lot of tickets. You know was uh, was willing to uh, you know take us out, and we got to play in front of a lot of people every yeah. night. You know, which is you know the goal, obviously, especially when you're starting out. You know, and try to. Um, you know, affect as many of those people like, hey, you know, you're here to you're here to see Hender, you know, but here's this band operator, you know, and uh, you know we get along. You know, there's one thing that's like we sort of gotten this reputation uh, being a you know rowdy rock band and whatnot, and and uh, anytime you know certain people or situations want to tell us what to do or put us into this little box, I'm like, man, f that, we're just gonna live our lives. So even so, if they threaten to kick you off the tour, I'd say, hey, say what you're gonna say, you know what I mean? <laughs> Strong and Phillips said that a lot of what other bands perceive of them is a bad game of telephone operator. Uh, I get blamed for a lot of stuff, you know, like, uh, you know, people have made all these crazy rumors about me and the rest of the band, and I think it's because we're really private people. You know, we don't, like, you know, try to go out and party with everybody all the time, and, you know, we're pretty, uh, you know, we kind of try to keep to ourselves, and I think sometimes that works against us because when, when they don't see you, or they don't see what you're doing, they make up these stories and rumors about you that you are doing all these other things. I'm like, man, how is it possible that I, you know, smack somebody in the head with a bottle and set their bus on fire when <laughs> I was on my bus with everybody else, you know, watching a movie, so it's weird. It's kind of like that game like you did in school, you know, where you like, you start at one end and you tell somebody one thing. It's and operator. By, and by the, yeah, and by the time it's like all the way at the other end, it's like, you know, you're like, burning up buildings with small children in them and yeah. you're like what all i what? said was i went inside of yeah and got building. coffee yeah. yeah and got coffee you know what yeah. i mean so it's kind of that it's kind of that old thing man people get misconstrued and people that's like the irony is the game operator is kind of like what happens to operate <laughs> strong had an important message for the fans in light of all the adversity they face so far as a young band there's a lot of bands out there that won't take operator out for one reason or the other. But there are a couple bands out there that we've made friends with that are down with us and will take us out. And I suggest, even if you're not friends with those bands and you want to, or, or you're fans of those bands and you want to see Operator, go to the shows, support those bands that'll support us because that that's the true family. And everybody and all the bands out there that won't take us out for one reason or the other, you know that you're just. While the rumors have led to the band having some difficulty booking gigs, the band has a handful of headlining dates and opening dates for Godsmack lined up. Operator is also planning a tour with Seven Dust. Operator's latest single off of Soul Crusher is the title track, and it's currently at number 12 on the Active Rock Radio Airplay chart. Oh.